Duo Live, a Minecraft survival game in which 20 players are divided into 10 teams and are pitted against each other for the ultimate survival last one standing gameplay. Each session will last 3 hours and during those 3 hours, 2 boogies will be selected at random. Teams will be allowed to form alliances, but ultimately, only one single team can win. Let the best team win. Let's get started. And here we go. And like a dummy, I completely forgot to record my voice during this session. So even though you can hear other players and you can hear me having conversations with other players, you won't actually hear my voice. So I'll definitely be letting you feel, filling you in on what I said, letting you know what I said, because I just simply did not record what I said. Now, throughout this beginning, we're just getting started. All, all we're literally doing is just collecting a couple goodies. We're trying to do what every Minecraft survival player does when they start a new world, which is just run around, gather as much as you can. The only difference is that now we have, whoops, somebody's on the ground. Now we have 20 people, actually, I think close to 28 people. I don't even remember that we're competing against. Actually, sorry, 20 people. So we are definitely running around trying to get as many items as possible. Now, as I said before, part of the rules in this game is when you can attack and when you cannot attack. So technically, if your team hasn't died more than three times, if you're still within your first three deaths, then you cannot just go around attacking anybody unless you become a boogie. If you become a boogie, then you can definitely go around and do a little bit of damage, but only to the people that have in between four to seven deaths. Those are technically like the yellow lives if you're thinking of double life. Um, and you know what? <laughs> it's about to happen, so let me pause real quick. Some people got a little desperate trying to figure out who their team was. Akimitsu, I'm pointing my finger at you. And as you can see, they thought that this would work like double life, but it just does not work like double life. If as your teammate dies, you do not die as well. Only your teammate will die. But you do have a team death count, and that team death count is how we determine what life color you're on. So for example, I am in the gray team, and right now, I haven't died yet. <laughs> but that will change here in a second, but I haven't died yet. So because I haven't died, I still have green life. So now that Akimitsu died, he has one against him, and he still is in green life, but he still now has one against him. And throughout this first episode, a lot of people are gonna die, including myself, twice. Sorry for the detour there. Let me go back to the rules really, really quickly, just to make sure that we get the rules right. If you have zero to three deaths, you can just go around killing people unless you're the boogie. If you have in between four to seven deaths, then you can kill green. Even though you probably should take your time and think about it well, not just go around killing everybody, you definitely could. And if you have if it's more than seven deaths, if you have eight plus death, all the way, I believe, to ten, then you can kill yellow and green lives players. Now, should you go around killing everybody? Probably not, but you definitely could. Uh, possibly the best players are going to wait to be very opportunistic to do their killing. So I'm really looking forward to when that happens. So again, guys, because of the audio issues as mentioned before in the beginning of the video, I'm going to go ahead and turn the rest of this first episode into a montage and we'll catch up on episode number two. We'll have lots of fun then. So you, I hope you guys enjoy the montage and see you in episode two. Sam, there's no, there's no helmets. You're not allowed helmets. You're not allowed helmets. It's in the rules. 
It's fine. It's fine. I keep having to tell Lockley about the rules. He keeps joining everyone's voice channels without being next to him. And he keeps swearing really badly. <laughs> Hello. Ah, uh, watch out. Watch out. Ah. Uh... Uh, oh, Brooksy left the chat. I'm gonna. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, can I stick with you guys for a little bit? Oh. Okay, yeah, I just, I just want to stick around and get some, uh, get some iron with you guys. Uh, because I don't have any iron, and I want a bucket and some armor and a shield and stuff. Uh... Oh! Wait, can't you? But you can't have helmets? Ah, oh, I don't read the rules. Anyway, yeah, well, uh, are you... It's these zombies, I hate them. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, nice, thank you. Yep, it's alright, cheers. I will, I will repay you in a later episode. Uh, no swearing. I've, I've, been I've been told I can't swear by Bruxy. <gasps> no! <laughs> How do you wither away? That scared me. <laughs> Not the boogie. I was joking. I'm not the boogie. Oh. Someone died. Did you actually take straight down? 